All right, here we are again on another morning. Today we're gonna to focus on how humans have impacted and altered the environment. And we're gonna start off with this little critter here. This is a rainbow trout. It is not supposed to be found in Iowa. This fish is native to the western states of the United States. But because people like me like to catch them, they have been bred and released by the state DNR. And you can see this guy Pretty slippery. Has recently been released from the DNR. Look at his pectoral fin right there behind his gills, how beat up and kind of crudded up it is. That's because this guy has spent most of his life swimming in a concrete tank. But he's gonna go back into the stream here and hopefully swim a nice leisurely life. I'm here this morning at Granis Creek Wildlife Management Area near Fayette, Iowa. And why I chose this place is, well, it's called a wildlife management area. And we're going to focus, again, on how we have impacted the environment. One is, well, as we look around at the ground, pretty much all the plants we see around here are invasive plants, not native to the United States. You can see we've created a nice little two-track road. And there is a cold water spring-fed stream, which we'll talk a little more about. Look at that waterfall coming right out of the side of the hill. That's pretty cool. Look at all that water. It's coming just right out of the side of the hill. Okay, this waterfall is pretty cool. As you can see, it's just coming right out of the side of the hill up there. And that's because this is what's known as karst topography. Lots of fractures, lots of little sort of underground passages and places that water comes right through the bedrock, hits a hillside and it just comes right out the side. So you can imagine how our land use up on top of the hill up there, whether it's agriculture or forest or whatever it is, is going to have a big impact on the water quality of this little stream as it comes out the side of the hill. Imagine if we're dumping a bunch of pollution or a bunch of farm chemicals or whatever else up top there, it's going to come right out of the side of this, right into this stream, and then right down the stream. So this is kind of cool. See the little slide right there? That's from beaver crawling up and down the bank and might not show up all that great in the video, but you can see up in that hillside there, all those chewed off little saplings that the beavers have taken care of. So they've chewed down all those trees, drug them down to the creek. There's a little trail that they use to get in and out of the water. Again, here's another way we impact the environment. This fish here is a brown trout. It's not even supposed to be found in North America. This is native to Europe, but because they're aggressive, they're beautiful, they reproduce pretty well. We brought them over here and let them go all over North America for people to come and catch. Sometimes we do things that are pretty nice. So along the stream here, it's probably hard to see on the video, but underneath all those rocks, 
We have built lots of fish hides and little structures for fish to swim in and hide away from predators and also fishermen. And we've even poured a nice access sidewalk going up to the parking area up there so people that are handicapped and have trouble walking around can at least get to parts of the stream to do a little bit of fishing. And we've dug out and created kind of a nice big pool there to make that access easy. So not always do we intervene and end up ruining things. Sometimes we really do try to make things better for people.